hey you guys welcome back to another video i know this review is late okay then i then i usually have it but a lot has been going on y'all i'm filming in my car like <laughs> um yeah one of my family members just had surgery and i'm trying to take care of them um and yeah it's just a lot going on right now and i'm just trying to keep up y'all so please bear with me i'm, I'm not trying to go mia i'm trying to get these videos out but it's kind of hard okay so enough about me. Um, let's get into this Love After Lockup Season 2 Episode 43 Between a Rock and a Hard Place, y'all. Okay, first we got Megan, Michael, and Sarah. Okay, <sighs> last episode we saw that um, Rock then came down to visit, you know, Michael and uh, Megan. Okay, really came to visit Megan, okay, because he got a thing for Megan apparently. He said he didn't have some relations with Megan, okay. So him and Michael was fighting outside. So this scene opens up. They still fighting outside. You know, uh, Michael and mushed him in his face. He says, go ask Megan. If you don't believe me, go ask Megan, okay? So <laughs> they go in there to the into the room, to the hotel room. And Megan is just waiting there like, okay, what, what secrets have y'all uncovered, okay? He, and he's like, Rock's like, I can't help how I feel about you. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and be honest. Go ahead and be honest with uh, Michael. Go ahead and tell him what's going on, okay? And Megan is like, basically, she's like, Rocky line, okay? Stop lying to that man. We didn't have no relations. She said that they kissed, but that was pretty much it. And Rock is like, girl, why you lying, okay? And I was like, okay. <laughs> I don't know if I care enough. I'm like, okay, girl, whatever. Um, Rock feels hurt or whatever. Um, the producers also, also ask, like, what happened between her and Rock. She's like, girl, nothing happened. Just that they kissed and they were hanging out and stuff. Her story don't add up. His story don't add up. Do I care enough? I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> Do y'all care enough? I don't know. Like I said, Rock gets his feelings hurt. He leaves. Michael feels like, you know, he feels like he did something because Rock left and Megan made him leave or something. I don't know. Okay. Um, Michael, um, no, Megan asks Michael if he's talking to any other women, okay, and he's like, you want me to be honest with you? And she's like, duh. <laughs> so he's like, yes, I talk to other females. I don't know why. I, I hate the when people use the word females. I, he talks to other women, y'all, okay? He says he did it. He talks to other women because he doesn't trust Megan from what he did, from what she did with Rock. <laughs> a mess okay uh, Megan says that she doesn't want to be in a polygamous relationship so, so he has to cut it off girl stop lying he don't have to he don't have to do none of that you can still be with him okay next scene we got Sarah it's girls night she has her best friend Emmy y'all know Emmy okay Emmy is always the one giving side eye to Sarah every time she, she's talking to Michael because she don't like Michael and she don't think she, you know that Sarah and Michael need to be together as we all do okay so, um, Sarah's in there talking about Michael again at the bar. Uh, and Emmy's like, girl, okay. Um, sh uh, Sarah says that Michael intentionally picks really insecure women and he like wines and dines them. Wines and dines. Not, Michael ain't got no money. So he ain't whining and dining nothing. But he just makes them feel like good or something. And then he creeps. Okay. So she knows what's going on, but she still she says she still loves him. So then Cat Williams, y'all, this man with this with this beanie on, look like Cat Williams came to the bar and was trying to hit on uh, Sarah. Okay, Emmy, Emmy is just happy that this is not Michael. You know that she's that maybe Sarah might have a little distraction with Cat Williams at this bar. Okay, um, they are leaving and Cat Williams is following them out. He, she he's like can I have your number and she you know she's like okay and so then she kisses him I was like girl what is going on it was too much for me um I put a mess on here it was a mess okay um the next scene we have Michael he's in the hotel room he is getting ready or something some lady named lady in his phone okay calls him and they keep keying back and forth. He says that he misses her. She lives in Miami. The producers ask him what is going on. He's like, y'all gonna see. I said, girl, you know what? <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired of them. Okay. That was them. Next we get to Tony and Angela. 
another one <laughs> another one i'm tired of tony okay angela is getting ready to go to work angela actually looks really nice in this scene she's going to go to to go on to go uh getting ready to go to work and lo and behold tony then slept outside and uh I guess on his motorcycle in the car. I don't know what he slept outside, y'all. But he's banging on the door, talking about he really... This is where he is paroled. So he really can't leave like that, okay? So he's like, please, just let me come in here. And, you know how he do. Please let me come in here and take a shower, Angela. I'm so lonely. I'm so down and out. Please let me come and take a shower. And she's like, come on, go in there, Tony. I'm going to let I'm gonna let you go in there and take a shower, Tony. But I'm tired. I'm tired. It's Tony. Go in there and take a shower. I'm tired, okay? Um... <laughs> She's like, but you better be gone when I come back, okay, Donna? I'm not playing anymore. I'm gonna be better come, you better be gone when I come back, Donna, okay? Um, <laughs> so I guess he was gone by the time she came back. The next scene, her sister comes over, Donna Faye, Donna Faye, Donna Faye just comes over basically to tell, to tell Angela she told her so, like, girl, this is a mess. Um, Donna Faye says, girl, you gonna let that man back in. One, you know, Today is him sleeping outside. Tomorrow he is going to be on the couch. By the next day, he will be in your bed, girl. So, you know, I'm like, Donna Faye, you're speaking facts, okay? Um, Angela says she likes the way Tony makes her laugh. Um, and she says that she'll always have love for him. Donna Faye says it's a crock of ish, okay? I agree, Donna Faye. We all know Angela's going to let Tony back, so I'm done, okay? So that was them. Next, we get to the another Three Musketeer couple, Lacey, John, and Shane. Well, I can't say Three Musketeers anymore because it looked like uh, Jean is in the pen now. For I don't know how long, y'all, but so yeah. Last episode, we saw that she was Lacey was running all over trying to find Jean, okay, because he wasn't answering his phone, and she was scared because he on them drugs or whatever. And so that's what happened. She found out he was in in prison. And so this scene opens up. Um, Shane gets back to the house. He was at the bar with his friends, remember, for their little argument. His friend drops him off. Um, he sees that Lacey isn't home. He's a little worried. She makes it home. She tells him that Jean is in prison, okay? And he's going to be there for a while, so they don't have to worry about him. They forgive each other. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> so... Then we get a little commercial break scene with Lacey and one of her friends who is just shocked the whole scene like, girl, why am I here? Okay. Lacey tells her friend that her and Shane got matching tattoos. Girl, I could care less. I could care less. Okay. It's too much. That, that was them. And then we get to Cheryl and Josh. Post Cheryl, y'all. Uh, Cheryl, y'all know Cheryl is taking her son to go be with Josh in Colorado. Okay, a mess, a mess, a mess. So this scene opens up. Cheryl's car broke down. She calls Josh, like, "Come pick me up." He ain't got no car. He's with his mama, so he's like, "Mama, we gotta go pick Cheryl up." And you know his mama don't like Cheryl, so she's she reluctantly goes to goes with him to pick Cheryl up. Uh, they meet up and they kissing and stuff and I'm like, I don't, we don't we don't have to see this. We don't have to see it. Okay um, Josh says that he's still with her because she's the most Loyal the most down chick. He all oh, he calls every woman a chick. He's the most she's the most down chick He's ever had. Okay. I said whatever girl the next scene um Oh, for that scene too, they get into the car and his mama is like y'all, you know Cheryl has to stay at their house for a little while. And his mama's like, y'all only got three days to be playing up in my house. I don't have time for this, okay? Y'all y'all know I don't I don't like Cheryl. Like, y'all really got three days with me and stop playing with me, okay? The next scene, they're all at his mama's house. Um, Cheryl's son is there. I'm like, po this poor baby. Um, mom, mom says the same, same thing again. Like, y'all need to, I'm giving y'all three days. I don't like Cheryl. That's it, okay? Um, they asked to use her car or whatever to look at houses. I'm like, girl, this is a mess. Um, she, uh, mama says she doesn't expect them to last. Cheryl tries to get a little sassy, girl. I would have put it out. I would have put it out, okay? But that's just me. That was Cheryl and Josh, y'all. Then we get to Clint and Tracy. Clint, okay? Clint is at his mama's house. We know last episode we saw that Tracy was locked up, y'all. She, you know, she had that stuff on her, okay? So, and Clint just got out of jail because he had some stuff on him, too, okay? 
Um, so he's going, where does he go when he's upset and he's sad? He goes to his mom's house. Mama, I messed up. Okay. Uh, he's all sad. <laughs> he gets to his mama's house and his mama's like, Clint, what's wrong, Clint? And she's like, and he tells her that I got some bad news about Tracy. Mama, you know that only thing that could break us up is death or jail. And mama's, mama said it quick, like, oh, she in jail? Okay. All right. She, mama seems a little sad. She's like, you know, I really, like, I didn't like Tracy at first. But from what Tracy was saying, she was hoping better for Tracy. But it just, that just didn't happen. She was hoping the girl would get clean. It just didn't happen. Okay. His daddy comes in. His daddy's like, what is going on? Mama's like, you better tell dad, okay? And he's like, uh, Tracy in jail. Daddy like, okay. Okay, girl, we okay, girl, we, we knew this was gonna happen. So <laughs> So what? Um, he's not surprised. Clint says, I don't wanna give up on Tracy, and he says, I just want I don't want no money and I just want y'all support. And then mama said, uh uh boo, that's not how any of this works. This this is not how this works. Um that is like, girl, are you ever going to learn? Are you ever going to learn, Clint? Okay? He's not going to learn because he don't know how to quit Tracy. That's just what it is. Mother effing crack. Um, got a hold on Tracy Poe thing. You know, I'm not trying to make fun of Tracy's um, addiction. Because I don't, it's not funny. You know, like, she has a serious addiction or whatever. But... It is, it's sad to see y'all. It really is sad. But Clint has a choice to not put himself in this foolishness, y'all. Let this girl just get some help, help, you know. But I don't know, y'all. The situation, I guess, is complicated. I don't know. What do y'all think? What do y'all think, okay? Last couple, we got Marcelino and Brittany. There, theirs wasn't too boring, this, this episode. Um, basically, Brittany's sister, Nicole, comes over. Brittany says she didn't really grow up too much with her sisters, so this is a good chance. Her sister's in Las Vegas with, you know, with taking care of her mama, so it's a good chance for her to um, get to know her sister, pretty much. Brittany tells her sister that, she, you know, she wants to talk to mama about, like, how Brittany feels like her mom wasn't there for her, you know? Um, yeah, because, you know, Brittany says that she ran away when she was 12, and I'm still confused on it, y'all. Because she said she ran away when she was 12. And then her family was in, like, a hotel or something. And then she tried to come back after, like, a week. And they were gone. And then she was homeless for a while. And then she met up with, like, you know, we'll get to that later. But she met up with this man who would then be the father of her first two kids. Or whatever. So did her family like never go back to look for her or did she not want to did she not want to go back home at a certain point? I just didn't I didn't get it. Like I, I didn't get what was going on. They didn't really say it say it bluntly. So um Marcelino and her sister basically say just be careful and cautious with your mama because she, she doesn't like talking about the past. So just be careful. The next scene um Brittany and her mama meet up at the park to talk. And it's a rough time for her mama because her mama has to realize, um, according to Brittany, she wasn't there for her, you know? She wasn't there when she needed her. Um, she, like I said, she was homeless right after she, at like 12 or 13 years old, right after she ran away. She was like sleeping in the desert. She was showing her mama like exactly where she slept or whatever in the bushes. And she says this 30-year-old man showed her like time and affection or whatever. And would make her do like crimes and stuff and was the father of her two kids a 30 year old man when she was like a teenager so messed up y'all so messed up um mama says she wishes she, she did everything different she has a lot of regrets she tries to apologize or whatever and they embrace and i hope they move on from this y'all it's gonna be hard but yeah so that was it for this episode, you guys. Let me know what y'all thought in the comments below. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Like I said, I'm sorry for it being late. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. Share it if you feel like sharing it, okay? I love you guys. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.